our total, 6.67K. We're just filling stuff in now. We have all our voltage drops, don't we? What do we need to do now? We can find our branch currents. Well, we know IR1 and IR2 because there's a series portion. Current's common, it's the same as I total. Good. Okay, IR and Q1, what is it? 4.5 Why? IREQ1 is don't the lazy electrons come down here and branch off? A certain amount goes through R5, R6, and R7. IREQ1. Now here's the thing though. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's not I total, because what about R5? So IREQ1, we'll get back to that. Let's find our branch currents now. IR3, where is it? Where did it go? It's 3K ohms, isn't it? How can we find the branch current for R3? What can we use? What's common here? Can I take that VREQ3? Or the VR3 and VR4? Hello? Is that Ohm's law? I'm trying to find current. Isn't voltage divided by resistance? This should be like nothing but a thing now. So that 7.7 .7 volts right here, because this is that common voltage, it's 7.7 .7 volts that's related to R3 and R4. This 8.82 volts is what's common to R5, 6, and 7. And then each one of these resistors have their own voltage drop because they're in a the series portion. So what's 7.7 .7 divided by 3K for IR3? 2.57 milliamps, very good. We can do the same thing to find IR4. Oh, it's at 7.7 .7 volts. That's what's common to these two. 7.7 .7 divided by 4K. Oh, we're going to copy that? Okay. 1.93 milliamps. Somebody other than Cameron, Mr. Ken, can we curch off this to make sure that the current is correct? How do we do it? No, just give me the procedure. IR3 and IR4, how do we know that we did those right? What can we do as far as like her job? Yeah, if those, because we know, don't we know that branch current adds together? What, are they, what should they add to? Yeah, they better equal I total. Check this out. Lazy electrons. Da, 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 da. Split, split, split. Guess what they're going to recombine as right there? I total. Split, split. Guess what it's going to add back to right there? I total. Everybody see that? Perfect. IR5. Well, we can take that 8.82 volts. For all three of these resistors, because this is one big parallel circuit here. One, two, three. That 8.82 volts applies to all three. Divide by 5K, 6K, 7K, respectively, to find IR5, 6, and 7. Mr. Whitmer, you have for IR5. IR5? Huh? circuit out, right? Remember I told everyone to copy the circuit down a couple days ago? Oh, you did, did you? Not really. Problem. Amazing. Mr. Martinez, IR5, what do you have? I got 1.76 milliamps. How does that sound, everybody? 1. What? 7.6 milliamps? Yes, sound pretty good. That's yes, all we're doing, we're using old law! 8.82 volts divided by R6 to find IR6. Ohm's law. Mr. Fry, what's the answer? IR6 is 1.7 million. 1.47 million. 1.47 million. So, okay. So. And we have And how about IR7? 
Sometimes you just look at my key because I'm right. I know I'm right. Some of you I don't know. Uh, IR7. Um, Mr. Brown, what you got? Whether you add them, you know all the values, or you know, for example, if you know two of them, add them together and subtract from total, yeah, of course you can. You can? Yeah. You can. All right. Can we do IRQ, EQ, one, two, three, nine? relates to this. Is that like the whole thing or what? No. What's IREQ2? Well, that's what I'm saying. The whole thing, right? Yes, that's what I meant by it. So it's, it is total current because IREQ2 basically is the whole thing. 4.5 milliamps. Good. Then IREQ3, it must be the whole thing because it's IREQ3. 